No, so what, 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 what happened with oh, see, oh, what what you say, oh, yeah. bro? I said, you wake up and just say, I don't like this guy. What did I do? Then you just say he, you know, he came out. You saw it. You start speaking you on it. No, brother, just say you don't know. Oh, who you? Who, what you say? I said just say you don't know because you don't know it. Who, you, who wait? Who you wait? Who you who who you talking to with that? Just say that you don't know shit. Who you talking to like that, bro? I've been showing you mad respect. Don't get me fucked up, homie. I'm not one of these other dudes, man. You on some snitch shit. I'm sitting up here. I'm sitting up here. Yo, I'm sitting up here. I'm sitting up here, here tiptoeing with your snitch ass. You a snitch. I, it wasn't your I, business to call the feds, nigga. It wasn't your business to call the feds. I'm sitting up here trying to ask you questions. Are you trying to be rude to me, nigga? Use a snitch. Use a snitch. Use a snitch. No, use a snitch. No, nigga, you disrespected me, nigga. Maybe seven, eight years ago. A dude named Nutward gave some commentary on relationships, I'll call it. He spoke on something that we all know, but we like to pretend means nothing. Big part of the reason for a long time the world been looking like it's on its way to hell. But after he did this video, and I forgot what he said, but whatever that statement was, I went looking for stuff and ended up studying a lot of stuff about power dynamics. basically changed a bunch of ways I see things. The title Styles video was Who's Gonna Take Out the Trash? And he was talking about uppity people who wants their trash taken out, needs their trash taken out, but don't want to do it themselves. But will look down on people like sanitation workers. But if somebody don't come get our trash, we're done. Some basic stuff that too many people like to ignore. Right here in the airport, I'm on this old black youngster shit. This is a Bentley bag, also. It's not a Bentley car, this is a Bentley truck to down to 17. I'm gonna try it one more time to see if they're ready. I have a prize for them. <laughs> and I'm bigger than the law. <laughs> These two ants are so rude. You need to get me off the camera and Look, you need to step away from this These two ants are so rude. They're peasants. they saying they manager on the way. I don't want to talk to the manager. Y'all ants. Your manager, peasant. Y'all ants. Hold on. I give y'all bomb man hold 15,000 pieces to quit your job. Well, in. I'm getting you bombs one more chance. Look at, get their hair. Sink in on the hair. They, they have that as a motherfucker. They look like Africans. They done got deported over. What's... Oh, deported in this story. Wanna, do you bomb me tokens or what? Bigger than the law. Also. <laughs> call here, officer, you want to call, huh? I'm glad you turned around. Look at the donkey. <laughs> All right, let me get this clear. Jokes is jokes, and I've said this a few times before. Nothing is off limits when it comes to jokes with me. Rape, murder, slavery, the handicapped, dead people, racism, sexism, or whatever else. Me, I'll laugh at me. Depending on what you said about me, though. All jokes depend on the who, what, when, where, how, and sometimes why. Suicide. Now, I don't know if he still does this to eat, but he's a dishwasher on the Vegas Strip. And he gets, in the, he gets in a lot of squabbles on here. And one of the main shots people throw at him is his dishwasher. Now, uh, saying stuff for the sake of an insult or to joke is one thing. But a few people who hit him with that dishwashing thing genuinely believe his job means nothing. Boy, get us some worship to side sauce. Clean off that damn tape. I'll whip your ass. <laughs> <laughs> is something wrong with your ears? Move it. Even though they like to go out to eat. But imagine that restaurant putting your food, putting your food on top of dishes that still got leftovers from the previous people that ate off it. So who gonna take out the trash? This doctor here. Maybe, you know, I don't know, makes a, maybe makes a million dollars a year. But when somebody like Michael Jackson walks up in his office to get the doctor to make him look like something he wasn't meant to be, Mike looks at him as, Merely being the help. It's always somebody who look at you like you're beneath. How many times have we heard of a cop who probably makes sixty thousand a year snatching a multimillionaire out of their car and slamming them on the ground or something? 
But I'm talking about the dynamics in relationships where one don't want to appreciate the other. I love it. The connection that everybody has, but you know, we still ignore it. Insults are insults. Like, you know, nigga, you flip burgers, nigga, shut up. But we there because we don't want to flip our own burgers, right? So who's going to flip the burger? Like, who's going to take out the trash? This is one of the reasons why I'm dismissive of uh, certain people who complain about structural racism. Because a lot of them have a classist mindset against black people, but they want to complain when others see black people as being beneath them. My understanding of relationships is also a large part of the reason why I reject the notion of there being some white privilege and white supremacy. And a lot of people have had words at me for that over the years. And I'll get into that again some other time, especially with that capital riot stuff. But for now, I just wanted to say a few things because, because of something I was listening to today. <laughs> 